Okay, hello everyone, Lewis here once again, and today I thought I'd make a quick video on basically how characters and worlds are dealt with when using T config. So many people have commented on videos going like, Lewis, you've deleted all my characters, or Lewis, you've deleted all my worlds, or something like that, or how do you transfer them? So I'm going to basically be showing you how exactly you can use your old characters in, um, you know, when using mods, like Reborn mod, I guess most people will be using at the moment. So, first off, just go to my documents, um, ignore my desktop, I know it's very messy, I've been like, making lots of videos. Um, go to my games, go Terraria, and one thing to note, as Daniel would say, I wouldn't recommend using your old worlds, because there is a problem at the moment with NPCs just being invisible when using old world, I've heard about that, I haven't actually experienced it myself because I'm not using an old world, so I don't recommend using old worlds. But either way, you haven't lost your own worlds. If you go to here, you'll find that your worlds are perfectly intact. I've only got one world. And then all your new worlds, which you might have made in your mods, such as Reborn mod, will be right here. So it's just one folder forward in tconfig. So if I haven't got it anywhere, as soon as you, you know, go um, start, if you want to uninstall, um, you know, the mods, and you just install tconfig, uninstall Terraria Game Launcher, and then you'll have your worlds back. I mean, it's not like they're gone anywhere. It's just obviously you can't actually get it from, um, you know, playing using the current setup because it uses this path to kind of, you know, source for actual worlds. You know, obviously it would, it would be this world here, would be um, this world here, not this world. These worlds just aren't here. I mean, obviously if I dragged them in here, you know, and went... Lewis, you could see it's right there. It's it's as easy as that to import a world, but I highly, re I, I wouldn't recommend it doing it because, like I said, it's a bit buggy. Um, same case for players as well. All there is is for an extra folder called tconfig. This is where your players would normally go. In my case, I don't have any players, but say for example, you do have a player right here. Just drag it and drop it in here. Or the only file you need is player dot player. Well, um, by default these these files wouldn't exist, so just ignore all these files. But in the default game, it would just be this and a player dot back. So you can drag both a player and a player dot back, or you can just drag a player. In most cases, just dragging a player would solve it. So basically, what you should learn from this video is that your characters and worlds have gone nowhere. They are still perfectly intact. So stop telling me why have you broke my worlds, Lewis? They aren't broke at all. Okay, we're just in here. I guess I'll leave for direct uh, the you know, the, the full paths in the description below if you do want to check out the paths. But you'll find that your worlds and characters are there. And if you do want to use your players, you know, just drag them up into the tconfig folder. And if you want to use your worlds, just drag them up into the tconfig folder for the worlds as well. Just going to move that back there. So anyway, I hope that has... I hope that's kind of answered the question which so many people have asked me. Um, if you're still having problems and you really think I've deleted your characters and I've ruined your life by deleting your Terraria character, just leave a comment below. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stuff if you did find this video useful. And still got a beautiful panda bear there. I'll see you guys later anyway. I think I should solve the issue. So stop asking, damn you.